Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo and in this video we will learn how to install YPath Studio on our computer. So first step is to create an account on YPath so we can then download the YPath installation. So let's access here to Google and search for YPath and let's click here on the first result where it says YPath Automation Platform leading RPA company. So let's click here on the first results. And so now we are on the main page of YPath website that it's on www.ypath.com as we can see here. And now to create an account on YPath, let's click here on the button try YPath free. So we can see that we have here two buttons. We can click on one of them. So let's click. And now here we can create an account on YPath Automation Cloud. So we have here four options to create an account. First, we can create an account with our Google account, with Microsoft account, LinkedIn account, or just by email. So I'll choose here the last option. And now we have to fill this form. So first on organization name, you can indicate, for example, the name of the company where you work or indicate just a fictional company name like fake company, for example. Now here, let's indicate our first name and here our last name. So now here on country region, let's indicate the country where we live. And now on email, let's indicate our email address. And now in last, let's define here our password account. So now to create the account, we just have to check this checkbox to accept the terms and policies. So let's check. And now let's click on this button to create our account. And as we can see here, we we'll sent an email for verification. So let's check the inbox of the email that we indicated to create the account. And as we can see, we received an email from YPath to verify our email address. So let's open the email. And to verify the email, we just have to click here on this button. And as we can see, we have now our account created on YPath Automation Cloud. So now let's go to the second step, that is download the YPath Studio installation. To do it, let's click here on the button help that we can see here. And here we can download the YPath Studio installation. We have here two options, the preview and the stable one. So in this course, we will use the stable version. So let's click here on stable. And now to download the installation, let's click here on the download button. And as we can see here, the download of the YPath installation was started. So let's just wait a bit. The download already finished, so let's execute the file to start the YPath to the installation. So let's click on it. So the YPath setup already started, and first we have to choose one of these two options. So we have here the option quick, recommended for community users, and the option custom, recommended for enterprise advanced users. So let's choose here the first option, the option quick recommended for community users. And now we just have to check here on this checkbox to accept the terms and to be able to install the YPath Studio. So now after check the checkbox, let's click here on the button install to install the YPath Studio on our computer. So the installation already started, so let's just wait it to finish. During the YPath Studio installation will appear this window asking if we want to install the YPath extension for Chrome. 
So let's install it because we will need it to create automations that uses the Chrome browser. So let's click here on OK. And now let's terminate the Chrome process that are still running to install the Webpack extension for Chrome. So let's click here on OK to terminate the Chrome processes. And as we can see, our Webpack installation is completed. So now let's just open the Google Chrome to enable the Webpack extension. So let's open Google Chrome. And as we can see here, was added the Webpack extension. So let's click here on enable extension to enable it. And so now we have the Webpack extension enabled. So now we can minimize the browser. And now let's click here on the button launch Webpack Studio. Now, because it's our first time using Wipad Studio on our computer, we have to sign in with our Wipad Automation Cloud to get started. So let's just click here on sign in. And now we just have to click here on the button open Wipad. And now we just have to wait. And now we have to choose the Wipad Studio profile and we have here two options, the Wipad Studio and the Wipad Studio X. The Wipad Studio profile is the most complete and advanced version with more features. The Wipad Studio X is a more simplified and limited version. We will use the Wipad Studio profile. So let's click on it. And now Wipad Studio will start. And as you can see, we have the Wipad Studio initiated. So if you like this video, please leave a like on it so it can reach more people. And also don't forget to subscribe the channel so you don't miss any more Wipad tutorials. So I'll see you on the next video.